What would you say, like long oval insect? I would say deedly. And camper. Do not make that face. Um, hi. I have to be very quiet because Beth Ann is taking a shower and she would freak out if she knew what I'm about to say. But we have cockroaches. The other day when we looked under here, there were like a bunch of baby deedlies. That's what we call them. They move really fast and they're really narrow. And we sprayed and we washed everything. And I crawled under here to look and I saw like a couple more small ones, but I thought I got them all. And you found a big deedly. And I made you jump out of bed to kill it. And then we opened it and pulled all of this out and there were baby deedlies and grown up deedlies and teenage deedlies. The deedlies. And I just found 13 of them in a row hiding on the backside, like tucked against the ledge. Okay, going in. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. Be careful that they don't run into your face. There we go. There's deedlies of all shapes and sizes, right there. What's the prognosis? None of them are there. So either I missed and they fled or I sprayed them and they fled. By the way, it's 11.30. Oh my God. What? They're everywhere. All right, well, the good news is these ones I can get to way easier. This is basically my worst nightmare. Oh Jesus, they're huge. They're huge. There's so many of them and we had no idea. They're they, huge. They probably mind their own business. Remember that one time we had a deedly infestation? And by deedly, she means cockroach. Here's what we learned about 1 a.m. yesterday. We have a little bit of an infestation. And based on my research, I think they are German cockroaches. I thought you said they're American cockroaches. Mm, we don't like either of them, so it doesn't really matter. Based on, you might want to plug your ears for this part based on the egg sac. I can hear you. Okay, so based on that, I think they're German cockroaches. But here's the good news. The sac only has 30 to 40 babies in it, which is okay, because if it was like hundreds, it was gonna be really difficult. But 30 to 40 is manageable. These crawl fast. They crawl than spiders. very fast, which is why I call them deedlies, because they go deedly, 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 deedly. So based on my research, we need to take everything apart in the camper, scrub it with soap and water, make sure it's dry because they like to hide in dark, moist, and warm areas. And all gross words. Yeah. We've seen some babies outside of the troubled location, and then we just found a the really big deedly in the bathroom in our clothes. So at this point, we're just gonna take everything out, scrub it to be safe. Because, Maybe burn the trailer. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Mm. But apparently they carry a lot of like disease and parasites. And so we're just gonna clean everything. And then I have some really strong bait gel on the way from Amazon. Mm -hmm. People said it worked wonderfully mm -hmm. and that when you put it out, you put it out throughout the whole camper because apparently they hide everywhere mm. and they found a lot more dead ones than they thought. Mm -hmm. But one mm -hmm. little bite of the gel can kill 54 of them. Yeah. So that's good. Well, if there are 54 of them in this small trailer, I want to die. It's going to be okay. Okay, can we do this before I decide that I'm done with this life? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. What's going on?
going on down there. Sure. It's under the sink, by the way, not crotchal region. What did I say? Well, you said the area of which we do not speak and crawl under there and see what's happening. So I just wanted to be clear. <laughs> that was a good question. Thank you. We're going to get coffee because it's 3 p.m. and we've been cleaning all day and the reward was supposed to be coffee after cleaning. Which we thought was gonna happen at like noon. Yeah, and there's still quite a bit to do. But here's the part that bothers me that I don't understand. For how many of them there are and how big they are, that means they've had food to live mm. that long. Yeah, that's gross. So where are they getting that from? Because I feel like we sweep regularly, we vacuum the carpet regularly. Like, where's the food coming from? Well, if we ever leave the dishes out overnight and do them in the morning. Ew! Hey, there's some golf clubs by the garbage. Yeah, I saw them. I almost thought about picking them up. They're kids' ones. I never realized there was a side door to the dumpsters before. Yeah, they talked about it on Unsolved Mysteries last night when they thought that guy's body got shoved through the side door. I have hand sanitizer. So you think they've been living off our food, off of our dishes? Oh. I mean, the good news is we don't eat on them after. We've both we seen them. how I do dishes. I don't want to eat food again hmm. from our camper. And I think about prepping food, like I was gonna make us this really cool soup tonight and my appetite is like, no, we no longer exist after what just happened. <laughs> the whole place has been vacuumed. The floor has been scrubbed by hand. The carpet has been uh, vacuumed. The countertops have been disinfected. The walls, the cupboards, the window sills, the toilet rooms. We did have a situation in the pantry where that bag was open. They've probably grown so big and strong off of almond flour. Almond flour, yeah, definitely. Fucking almond flour. And some turmeric. Yeah. You're just feeding them the good stuff, I know, really. That's that will keep them- We have really healthy cockroaches. Living a cancer-free and long, healthy, non-inflamed 100-day life. That's my fault, mm -hmm. I will own that. They're like, hey, camper at site 51, they got the good What do you think cockroaches symbolize? What do cockroaches? That dude's bumper fell off. Right now? Must have, it's dragging. I wonder if someone bumped into him. Wonder if he knows. If cockroach had a tagline, it would be where there's a will, there's a way. That's feel... very not comforting as the human who's sharing space with them. If you feel stuck and worried about just getting by, then it's time to embrace a little cockroach creativity. You need to adapt and keep your eyes peeled for those little cracks that offer a way out of your situation. Nah, that wasn't what I was hoping for. Really? I thought it was uh, pretty interesting. That's good. I don't know if I believe it. You ready to Ladies do this? Ladies and gents, this is the moment you waited for. Bum, bum. I took out my really cute high bun that I had on point today for this, so yeah, everyone appreciates it. Do you All need, right. like, my assistance? Should I be, like, ready with the vacuum, or should I just be filming? I don't know what my role is. I think I'm gonna spray first if they're still alive, so I don't need emergency vacuum. Like, I'll just keep it close to me. Okay. We literally haven't opened this since last night, since we sprayed everything, so. I love you. Tell them what you've been worried about. That they're gonna jump on your face. And my hair. In your hair and yeah. eat you. No. <laughs> Sweetheart, you're not going there. I know, I'm so nervous for you. Be careful. Next time on The Cockroach Chronicles. <laughs> One flew by my shoulder. Flew. We're so sleep deprived. 